So um, we are introducing with version 540 uh, a new option for licensing, and those may be called subscriptions. Um, the little bit of setup here as to, as to what our, our thinking is, is um, uh, Trimble, uh, the, the broader Trimble um, as a whole is starting to take a more customer centric uh, approach as it comes to thinking about how we can best serve and maintain a relationship uh, between our distribution channel and between our customers our, uh, as well. So this customer centric approach offers more control and transparencies and experiences to you the subscriber. Um, for as a first go, uh, the, the geospatial and construction uh, teams are offering a very similar consistent approach for Trimble Business Center and Trimble Access, the respective uh, flagship products in, in, their, in their markets for us uh, it, right now. So um, the, some of the benefits here and the, some of the changes are that these subscriptions are now personal. So uh, the target is single named users with their Trimble identity, their TID. Um, and what this TID is, is it represents you as that, that user. So it should not be shared or cannot be shared with another user. And it's kind of a simple equation to think about this. Um, one person equals one user equals one TID equals one seat of the software. And, and we're going to use this approach um, to really then, you know, focus in on that customer centric approach, as, as I mentioned, and, and is listed up top there. Um, but I want to say um, big time here that, that this is an option, right? So the perpetual license as it exists today, um, the dongle and the network will still remain. Uh, we have no plans of um, of, of not supporting those. And, and um, we recognize that this first release of subscriptions or subscriptions as, as they exist today may not be a fit for everybody. So for example, our government customers or those who are working in, in highly restricted uh, communication environments. Um, however, those customer initiated migration from perpetual to a subscription option is coming soon. And so I'm going to get into uh, who we're targeting here with subscriptions um, and, and our kind of plans moving forward. Um, so what the offering is, I'm sorry, there's a lot of text here. Uh, we should note, this is a good time to note as well, that um, this presentation will be made available. There'll be a recording of it, um, and we'll, we'll uh, try to get the, the deck out to you as well. Um, and so for TVC, there's some really exciting things as it pertains to what the subscriptions can bring our customers. And that's a simplified offering. Um, so between three kind of core editions and three specialty editions, you can choose one or more, so they can be mixed and matched, right? That was a big uh, limitation of the perpetual option as it exists today. There can then be optional regional focus modules. Jeff had mentioned the, the ANZ toolbox, that's an example, uh, to, to cover workflows in Australia, New Zealand, and, and beyond. And then I wanna mention here as well, all TBC functionality is available across the perpetual and the subscriptions options. While we're constantly looking to add additional value to the subscription options moving forward, right now everything that you, um, it was just kind of a, not as simple, but uh, maybe the opposite of simple, uh, matching exercise of, all right, here's our, here's our perpetual options. How do we fit those into uh, streamlined subscription options? So everything is available across these two different options. Um, for this first release, they will be available in one year increments and you would then renew each year to continue license functionality. You know, much like uh, if, if any of you've um, evaluated functionality with that 30 day timed demo code, well on day 31, you lose the functionality. That's how the subscriptions work as well. Um, we're working on the ability to add seats and add modules or upgrade uh, at any time during the subscription term. Look for those uh, uh, here in, in the, the coming weeks and months. Um, and then to you, to to um, to kind of cancel the subscription, you would just simply not renew at the end of the subscription. Um, and and like I'd mentioned, the upgrades and renewals are being developed and, and will be released soon. Um, what some of the benefits here is that the subscription term would grant all new releases, updates, and patches. So same kind of uh, logic today of you know your your expiration date must match or be later than the TVC build date. 
Um, talking about added value, all valid subscription editions include a Trimble Connect business subscription as well. And each subscription supports the Trimble field equipment and, and sync manager functionality, as well as the works family uh, that Scott had mentioned. So who do these initial subscription options serve? Well, the green check marks here are next to new customers and then enterprise customers as well. Um, there's some really nice transparent management functionality for license managers out there. Um, whether you're a, a shop of one or, or a shop of hundreds, um, the ability to put the control and the manage and who, who has access to the license or, or which licenses is in your hands now. And it's a it's a, a really nice online dashboard called the Trimble License Manager, and um, there's a lot of benefits uh, uh, to having that control as well. One of those benefits is that you now have consolidated your licenses online, particularly useful for the enterprise level customer, where you don't have to worry about dongles getting lost or run over, um, or or um, shared across organizations or different locations. Same thing with maintaining servers. Um, either virtual or, or physical somewhere. Um, and this will tend to promote uh, organizations to use the latest release or at least the, a common release uh, across the organization where you don't have to worry about versioning or, or who's on what uh, update or, or edition. Um, for our current perpetual customers, um, like I had mentioned, um, we are working on a formal optional still migration plan um, coming soon to, to uh, if you're interested in migrating over to to offer something there and then I'm gonna um, flash back to my my Trimble support days and doing licensing support cases which um, spent uh, many hours doing um, I wanted to highlight what this licensing workflow looks like for our users it is um, it is quite exciting um, your license admin, whoever has purchased that license from your Trimble distribution partner, whether that's a SciTech or a geospatial dealer, uh, should note that the offerings are the same across the, the SciTech channel and, and the geospatial channel. You'll be getting, as a user who's got an assigned a, a, a subscription license, an email that looks something like this. It says, hey, thank you. Um, you've been granted a seat to this, uh, this subscription. This is the enterprise uh, subscription in this case. We let you know who your license admin is, that person who you would go to, uh, uh, to, to to talk anything licensing about. And then the big one there is that bold face text, your TBC subscription is ready to use. So there's no more um, uh, 19 digit product codes or activations or licensing or network errors or communication issues. Um, once you get this email and you have a TID, a Trimble identity, you are ready to roll in Trimble Business Center. So you'd open up TVC and you click on that little uh, person icon and log in and you are logging in to TBC with your TID. This is already built in to TBC and there's several useful features that we've tied to it, uh, such as the background maps or publishing to Clarity or pushing data up to Trimble Connect or um, authenticating with, with uh, um, uh, Works Manager. And once you sign in, you jump into our recently refreshed and redesigned Trim, uh, TVC license manager, pick your subscription, whoop, and your um, uh, TID is authenticated. It's read as, as to what uh, subscription you have available to you. You select that, you hit apply, and you're ready to get to work. Um, one thing, a common question that we get is, do you need to be online to use these subscriptions, whether it's TVC or Trimble Access? The answer is no. You will be able to um, be, you have to be online to sign in. Obviously, you have to authenticate you. But if you know you're going to be offline for an extended period, you can detach that license. You can check it out um, uh, for up to 30 days and use it, and it will automatically be returned, or you can check it back in early. So um, look for more information on the subscriptions here very soon. Um, we're working out uh, some final things here, and we should be getting that to market uh, very, very soon. Um, there's information available on our website already, so we're confident uh, in, in the, um, uh, the, the coming time we will be able to release these here 
very soon. The new Trimble Business Center subscription licensing option.